Yo hello, it's Revy here and in today's video I will be showing you guys how to make a 3D skull visualizer and uh, yeah let's begin. So you start off by making a solid layer and then we're going to add element 3D to it and from here you go to scene setup and here you're going to import the 3D skull model and I'm going to put a link in the description uh, where you can download a 3D skull model. Okay so when you have imported the 3D skull you can just press ok and then from here we go to group 1 particle replicator rotation and then go with x rotation to minus 90 and now we're going to animate the skull so we're going to press the clock here on z rotation and then go to the ending which is four seconds by the way and then let it rotate two times just like that we're also going to increase the size of course to 71.5 and then open up particle rotation and rotate the skull a little bit so first thing looks nice and we're also going to open up the form just like that and and then noise you're going to press enable and then we're going to tweak some settings here from here you press the clock and increase it to 150 percent i'm not gonna lie this looks pretty scary <laughs> but yeah go to the middle here for me set out the marker there as well zero percent and then in the ending go back to 150 percent i wanna fix the settings a little bit so i'm gonna I thought this looked okay and of course we're going to add ambient occlusion down here to render settings ambient occlusion enable and increase this to 50 so it looks more realistic now we are done with the skull here you can now copy this by pressing ctrl d then you can hide the uh, layer above here we're going to add some effects so we can start off by adding edge detect just like that and we're going to change it to chrome edges and then go to edge smoothness to zero saturation to one 1.45 the threshold to 0.11 weight red 1.65 and weight green to 1.31 and then weight blue to 1.14 perfect now we're going to add a deep flow to it and then increase the exposure a little bit press on malt and we're going to scale this down to 23 percent and now add a new effect called motion tile and from here increase the output with something like that and output height to yeah something like this okay so now we're done with this so you can just hide the layer for the moment and then add a new solid layer just like that and now we are going to add some particles in the background so we are going to add a effect called particle world and from here we are going to open up the settings and the position is going to be minus 0 0.48 and then 0 on all these you're going to choose freely here and we're going to decrease the gravity to zero increase the resistance to 5.2 now we're going to fix the particle settings here so you're going to press particle type and then texture disk texture and then we're going to import our texture now just like that you can hide the texture just like that now we can hide the texture go back in choose the layer with the texture and from there you are going to choose zero as the birth size and uh, 0 0.075 as the depth size size variation 100 percent max capacity 100 percent then we're going to choose color here i want to have blue then pink here and the last thing we're going to do here is fix the direction axis you can find in physics here then open it up Put this to zero and then this to one. And we're going to press Control Shift D here. Delete, drag this to the beginning and then increase this. We are just going to add deep flow as the last thing here. So add deep flow and then increase the exposure just like that. And now we're done with that. So now we can make the background skulls visible and the front skull visible. We are also going to add deep glow to the front skull. And we're going to increase the exposure to two. And then press unmalt. Looks pretty trippy now, but we are going to add some last effect which will complete this visualizer. And those effects are first of all turbulence. So you can add turbulent displays. And then drag this below the front skull, okay? Just like that. And the settings we are going to use is amount 20. And the size is going to be 300. And we are also going to keyframe this. So we press this clock here on evolution and go one whole rotation there. And we are also going to add wave warp. So we press Ctrl Alt Y. And the settings we are going to use here is wave type, noise, wave height 10. We already have it. And then wave width is going to be 2. And we are going to change the direction to 0. So it becomes horizontal. So now it's a little bit glitchy you can see on the skulls here. 
and uh, we are going to add three more effects so we can start off by adding the big effect which is going to change the whole visualizer now which is called half tone and the settings we are going to use here is 3.9 on the ht scale we are also going to add the flickers so you press ctrl alt y again and then flicker and the settings we are going to use here is just to change the random color amplitude to one and now for the finishing touch we are going to add the vignette and we are just going to use the normal settings so yeah that's how you made the 3d skull visualizer i hope you guys enjoyed the video please feel free to give me some feedback on tutorials i can make or improve my tutorials i just have now and yeah like and subscribe and uh, have a nice day